This is Sign for Smart Minds. You are welcome. I'm your teacher, Gottfried. In the last lesson, I'll put the link in the description. We came into conclusion that while science refers to the acquisition of knowledge, technology seeks to what? Actualize this knowledge, bring this knowledge into what? Reality. So technology seeks to produce tools and machines to make life easier. And that things like computer, stethoscope, cell phones, hospital equipment, and so on and so forth are all forms of what? Technology. Good. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the distinction between science and technology or we're going to distinguish between science and technology. But we'll look at the distinction in terms of what? Meaning, what they are, their effects, in terms of what change, and so on and so forth. Number one, let's talk about the meaning of science and then compare it to that of what? Technology. When we say science, science is a systematic way of what? Acquiring knowledge on a particular field of study through scientific methods. I mean, scientists go through observation, they go through hypothesis, experimentation, they do analysis, and then they come into conclusion and then share what they have what, learned so far. That is science. That is the meaning of science. Just trying to find out why and how certain things exist in nature. However, when you come to technology, the meaning is that it refers to what? Practical application of scientific knowledge for many purposes. For instance, due to technology, we have mobile phones for what? Communication purposes and other purposes. I use my mobile phone for what? editing my videos, and so on and so forth. So, that is what? Technology. If you take this, is, this is a land phone. We also use this for what? Communication purposes. And there are all other forms of what? Technology that we have. So, that is what? Technology and science. In terms of what? Meaning. Meaning. But when we say, what is science or what is technology? Can we distinguish between the two also? Yes. So point number two, science is a process of what? Exploring knowledge. Whilst technology is the use of scientific knowledge or scientific laws to create new products. So when you decide to what? Learn more about things in nature, finding out why they do certain things and so on and so forth. That is science. But when you take that information that you have and process it and come out with a product so that we can benefit from it, that is what? Technology. Technology. Let's go to point number three. And here, we're going to talk about what? Effects of science and technology. And by that, we can what? See the distinction between the two. As we have said, science is just a process of what? Acquiring knowledge. And so, acquiring knowledge about anything, whether that thing good or bad, is good. When you get that kind of knowledge, then you will know what to do with that thing, okay? So when we talk of effects, science is always useful. I mean, finding out facts and figures about things is not bad. So we can say with effects, science is always useful. However, technology can be useful and at the same time, it can be what? Harmful. For instance, if you look at forms of technology such as computer, hospital appliances, transport, and so on and so forth, they are all good, isn't it? But those forms of technology such as cybercrime, 
weapons of mass destruction, nuclear weapons, and so on and so forth, are not only bad, but a threat to human existence. So you see, technology can be good, and at the same time, it can be hot, very harmful. So with effects, we are saying that science is always useful, but technology have both sides, good and bad. Let's go to the fourth point, and that is change. As for change, science does not change, but technology changes continuously. As I told you, this is what a land form, but Look at some of the examples of land phones that we were using some time past. These are some of the type of land phones that we we're using. They all work under the same scientific principles. So science, as I said, does not change. But the model, the technology, has what changed over the years. So for technology, it changes, but science remains the same. The facts remain the same, but their practical application can what? Vary. So that is the fourth point. Let's talk about the fifth point. What they lead to? What does science lead to? And what does technology lead to? As we know, science leads to what? Discoveries. Through observation and experiment, scientists will then discover certain facts. Okay? So science leads to what? Discoveries. It is through science that we realize that voice can be transformed into what? Sound waves. Sound waves can be transformed into electrical energy. Electrical energy passing through a wire to get to the other end for another person to hear it as what? Sound. That was what? Science. So science leads to discoveries. However, technology leads to what? Inventions. Inventions. Technology always comes out with what? Something like this. Or like that. So these are some of the inventions of what? Technology. There are so many things that out of technology we've been able to what? Invent. Or there are so many inventions that has come as a result of what? Technology. So point five is that while science leads to discoveries, technology leads to what? Inventions. Point number six. We're going to talk about what science and technology deal with. If you take science, science deals with what? The study of the structure and behavior of natural and physical world. And out of that, it creates the laws of nature. Huh? Science, out of science, certain premises are set, or the laws of nature are set. So out of science that we get to know that, okay, this can be that. Or that can be that. For instance, how did we get to know that our voice can be transformed into sound waves, which also can be transformed into electrical waves? And out of that, phones were invented. It was what? Through science. So as we say, science deals with what? The structure and behavior of the natural and physical world to create laws of what? Nature. Or to create premises. Technology, on the other hand, deals with what? Putting those premises or those laws of nature into practice. That is, while science explains why and how things happen, technology, on the other hand, makes things happen using laws of science or scientific knowledge. And here comes the final point. And we're going to talk about the goal of science as well as the goal of technology. From what we have learned so far, what do you think is the goal of science? Well, the goal of science is the pursuit or the pursuance of what? Knowledge and skills.
to create laws of nature. That is what the goal of science. Technology, on the other hand, its goal is to create products to satisfy the needs and wants of people, as well as what? Improving the quality of life. That is technology. Take for instance, I have these sheets of paper, A4 sheets. If I want to make a hole here so that I can clip them in my file, I have many options. Either I will pierce through that with my finger or I will use probably a nail to make those holes and so on and so forth. But all these are not convenient. It will make things difficult somehow for me. But out of technology, we have this, you see? So if I put them here and just a mere click, very soft click, voila, what do you see? The holes have been made. So you can see technology makes life easier or it also what improves the quality of life. So technology is very, very important. You now see why some of the third world countries are somehow far behind. Yeah, we have the scientists. We have the scientists that can speak very big and good English, but we lack those people that can put those ideas together and then come out with concrete things. That is the problem of the third world country. There are a lot of distinction between science and technology. Can you give us more of that in the comment section? Thank you. This has been Science for Smart Minds and I'm your teacher or your host, Godfrey. Can you share this video, like and subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to this channel. Adios.